Determine the equation of a straight line that intersects the coordinate axis with intercepts whose sum is 1 and product is negative 6. Okay, let us begin. Now to begin with, what we'll do? We're going to first consider the equation of a straight line given in the intercept form. Such that the x-intercept, the x-intercept is given by a, this x-intercept is a, and the y-intercept is given by b. Now, it's given in the problem that the sum of the intercepts equals 1 and the product is negative 6. So that means a plus b equals to 1. So this is given to us. And we also have another condition. That means the product of the intercepts, a times b, that's going to be negative 6. Now, using these two equations, let's try to find out the value of a and b. That's a very simple task. What we can do? We can replace b with negative 6 over a in the first equation, a plus b equals to 1. So that's that we get a minus 6 over a equals to 1. So that's going to give us a squared minus 6 equals to a. So we have a squared minus a minus 6 equals to 0. So this is a standard quadratic equation. So what we'll do, we can factorize by splitting the middle term to get negative 3a plus 2a minus 6 equals to 0. So that's going to give us a minus 3 multiplied to a uh, plus 2. This is going to be equals to 0. So solving for a, we get a equals to 3 and a equals to negative 2. So since b equals to negative 6 over a, we can use that to obtain the value of b. So when a equals to 3, then corresponding b value that's going to be negative 6 divided by 3, it's going to give us negative 2. So clearly we can see that when we take the sum of a and b, that's going to give us positive 1 and the product 3 times negative 2, that gives us negative 6. And when we consider a to be equals to negative 2, then in that case, b corresponding b value, it's going to be positive 3. So here again, we see the negative 2 added to 3 gives us positive 1 and the product is negative 6. Okay, fine. So we have the a value and b value. So for the first pair, a equals to 3 and b equals to negative 2, our equation of the line is going to be a over 3 added to y, uh, x over 3 added to y over negative 2 equals to so what we'll do, we're going to multiply throughout with 6. So that's going to give us 2x minus 3y equals to 6. Okay. And for the second pair, a equals to negative 2 and b equals to 3, we're going to get a x divided by a, which is negative 2, added to y divided by b, which is 3, equals to 1. So what we'll do, we're going to multiply throughout with negative 6, and that's going to give us 3x minus 2y equals to negative 6. So here we are getting two equations. So that means there will be two lines. One of the equation is 2x minus 3y equals to 6 and the other equation is going to be 3x minus 2y equals to negative 6 and in both of the two cases the sum of the intercepts is going to be 1 and the product is going to be negative 6.